What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I am Wyatt Wiggins, the one and only. And today is Friday, December 4th, and we are here with your distance learning announcements. It is Friday, so let's kick it off with Pop. What's poppin' Wolfpack? This is Pop. Where you pop in, you post the pack. Remember to use hashtag COHSWPTV for a chance to be in our show next week. Let's hear from our Wolf of the Week, Elvin Delic. So for me, COVID really affected my senior year because it took away all the scheduled senior activities that were planned. And being in school online just isn't as fun as being in school normally. Now that we're at distance learning, it's a lot harder to stay involved with our school community, but I still practice baseball every day and do my best to be prepared just in case we do have a season this spring. To keep busy during quarantine, I've really been mainly just practicing baseball and pushing myself every day to get better. For me, my favorite CO memory would have to be prom because it was the last major event before Corona started and I got to be with all my friends. For me, my hobbies include hanging out with my friends and family, practicing baseball, listening to music, going to the beach, and riding horses. Um, on campus, I'm a member of the CO baseball team and I've been on varsity all four years of high school. My goal this year is to finish the school year strong and to keep my grades up, and if we have a baseball season, to perform well. After high school, I'll be attending the University of San Francisco on a baseball scholarship, and I'll be majoring in business there. Someone on campus that really inspires me is my friend Stephen Bricks. He's such a great guy, very kind to everyone, really helps the community out, and along to that, he's an outstanding teammate, probably the best baseball player I know, and it's helped me out with a lot of things in my life. Thank you, Elvin. Good luck with you the rest of the school year. Well, Wolfpack, that's all I have for you today. Back to me and Wyatt. Hey, Wyatt, have you heard that Pfizer is nearly done making a corona vaccine? No way, really? That's going to be sick. Yep. Here's Yash with more info. What's up, Wolfpack? It's Josiah Edwards. And I'm Yash Sharma. And we're here to tell you more about COVID-19. On Wednesday, December 2nd, Britain granted emergency approval for a COVID vaccine. Vaccinations of the Pfizer and BioNTech vaccine will begin immediately with an estimated 800,000 doses to be administered next week. Due to the overwhelming increase in hospitalization in California, hospitals struggle to treat patients as many are becoming full of patients. As California cases increase rapidly, Governor Gavin Newsom announced yesterday that a 14-day stay-at-home order to try and cut down on the COVID cases and allow hospitals to catch up for ICU and other treatments. Newsom said that once the ICU capacity drops below 15%, the stay-at-home order will be under effect immediately and stay in place for at least three weeks. This threshold is expected to be reached in the next day or two. Here's where the state's regions stand in California, according to ABC7. Bay Area at 25.4% capacity, Greater Sacramento at 22%, Northern California at 18.6%, San Joaquin Valley at 19.7%, and Southern California at 20.6%. The number will continue to fluctuate as hospitalization is increased and decreased. Once this threshold is reached, a lockdown will take place closing all activities and tourist sites. And here are some changes that will be happening during the lockdown. Outdoor recreational facilities will allow outdoor operation only without f any food, drink, or alcohol sales. Additionally, overnight stays at campgrounds will not be permitted. Both retail and shopping centers will allow indoor operation at 20% capacity with entrance metering and no eating or drinking inside the stores. Additionally, special hours should be instituted for seniors and others with chronic conditions or compromised immune systems. Hotels and lodgings will be allowed to open for critical infrastructure support only. Restaurants will only be open for pickup or takeout. Offices allow remote only except for critical infrastructure sectors where remote working is not possible. Places of worship will allow outdoor services only. Entertainment production including professional sports will allow operation without live audience. That's all we have for your COVID news. Back to you, Angers. 
Thanks again, Yash. A little announcement for y'all. Attention, families of seniors. If you'd like to commemorate your senior with a tribute in this year's yearbook, you can do so by scanning this QR code. Hey, Wyatt, what have you been doing in quarantine? You know, the usual, working out, studying, taking jobs, sleeping in, you know, nothing much. Pretty fun, pretty fun. Let's hand on over to Isabel for more info. Hey guys, I'm Isabel Herman. I'm a junior and my quarantine project is a wall mural in my room. Um, basically what inspired me to start painting my wall is I started painting like a lot of different things. I painted my mirror and I painted my shoes and I wanted to do something big and I had a lot of free time. So I decided that I would start painting my wall. I came up with the design and I kind of drew it out freehand in chalk and then I started painting over it. I got inspired to ask more CO students about their quarantine projects because I was interested to see what people did to pass the time while we were all in lockdown. And I was really happy with the results and I hope you guys are too. Hi, my name is Abigail Flowers and my quarantine hobby is painting. Hi, Abby. Um, when did you start painting? Um, I started painting in the middle of March, right when we got into our quarantine. Awesome. What are the benefits of painting? Like, why do you like to paint? Um, I like to paint because it's kind of relaxing and it's calming and it lets me like express like how I feel and just it's there. I put myself into the paintings. Awesome. Thank you so much. Welcome. I'm Dylan Brazier, I'm a junior. And I'm Ryan Curry, and I'm also a junior. Our quarantine project was a podcast called The Wolfpack Uncensored. Hi guys, um, Dylan, when did you start the podcast? We started probably posting around mid-August, right after school started. I think a lot of it came down to we were really bored, and you know, we had nothing to do. Despite having a lot of schoolwork, we kind of felt like, oh, this will be fun to talk about stuff that we've always wanted to talk about and just post it on YouTube and see who watches it. It gives us a space to, you know, be creative, show our creative sides. We can also um, interact with people, staying six feet, staying uh, socially distanced at home. And we're able to talk with others, kind of spread positivity and just kind of be happy. Yeah, for sure. It's a great way to stay connected, even though we're not physically seeing each other in person. All right, thanks, guys. Cool. Thanks for having us. Hi, my name is Joshua Hardo. I am a junior, and I have been producing music as my quarantine project. Hi, Josh. Um, when did you start producing music? Well, it's been a while, actually. I started producing music in april and that's when you know this whole quarantine thing started and i was just messing around in my bedroom thinking what i could do and then i see all of these small music artists you know producing music especially in a time where there's basically nothing to do and i did it out of boredom basically so i started you know making a lot of you know lo-fi beats and stuff like that but i really like producing music because um for me like i Music is a big part of me and just finally having the um, equipment to start producing music. Well, I got a lot of my inspiration for producing music because um, from this program I'm part of called School of Rock in Elk Grove. And um, it's just, you know, where I got, it's just a lot of my, it's just where I got a lot of my inspiration. inspiration. Awesome. And thanks. That's it. Dylan. You've been in this episode three times, man. What, what can I what's say? What's going on? I'm, I'm a pretty cool guy, what can I say? I mean, I'm sure about that one, but that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Wyatt Wiggins. And I'm Dylan Brazier. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Ten more school Ten days more until break, guys. Break. You got this.